Hi, I'm Chanel from AppThemes and in this tutorial I'll give you a general overview of Hybee. Hybee creates the perfect platform to connect employers and freelance workers. Before we create a project like the one shown on the screen, we'll first need to configure some general settings. So if we go to our admin dashboard, after activating this theme, three menus will appear titled Hybee, Payments and Projects. So before I move on to settings related directly to Hybee, I'll first need to go to my general WordPress settings. I'll start by enabling membership registration. So this can be found here, you'll see membership, and if you tick this box, anyone can register. This will allow outside users to sign up on my website. So if you've ticked this box, you'll just need to go down and save the changes you've made. Next, we'll look at B general settings. So we just go B and settings. This will take us straight to the general settings. You'll need to start by ticking this box if you choose, as share roles capabilities will allow your users to be both employees and to work as freelancers. If you don't select this box, people who sign up will only be able to be an employer or a freelancer. So I'll tick this box and I'll scroll down. Under the social tab is where you'd enter in any social media you'd like to link. So we've got LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, and Google. Simply just copy the URL of your page and paste it in here. The next tab I'll be looking at is projects. So I'll click on the projects tab. By ticking this box next to projects, it gives you complete control of your website. Um, it will make admin approve any posts before they go live. It is also under the projects tab that you can change the appearance of your website. Um, you can choose how many projects you like on the front page and how many projects you'd like per normal page. Under skills is where you'd enter in how many skills you'd like each employer to list that their freelancers will need. And we'll scroll down. And under attachments is where you can specify how many attachments the employers can put onto their project. Now if I scroll right to the end of this tab, you'll see charge for projects add-ons. If you intend on charging, um, employers to list projects, you'll need to tick this. So I'll just go ahead and tick that and then I'll save the changes I've made. The next tab I'm going to go over is the users tab. So I'll click on the users tab and this is where you can edit the appearance of your website. So under the appearance, you'll see users on front page. This is how many profiles will show up on your front page and how many profiles will be per page. So once you've entered in that, just ensure you save your changes. You can also allow users to upload a custom avatar. So I'm going to click that one as well. The last tab in this section I'll be showing you is geolocation. Um, you'll need to set your language. So I'm going to leave mine as US. And enter in your API key for Google if you intend on using Google Maps. We have more information on entering your API key on our documentation page of the website. So we'll go down, save my changes. And now we've configured all our Hiobee settings, I'll be moving on to payment settings. So we'll go payments and settings. So under the first tab of payments general, you'll need to choose the currency that you'd like to accept on your site from the drop down. So I'm going to stay with the US dollar and you can also edit where you'd like your symbol to go. Under tax, simply enter in a percentage you'd like to charge for tax. So I'll just go with 15% as an example. And here is where you'll need to choose um, which payment gateway you'd like to go with. So you can choose bank transfer or PayPal, or you can choose both like I have. So we'll save those changes. So if you've chosen bank transfer as well as your payment gateways, you can edit the message that your customers will receive after a successful payment has been made. If you've chosen to use PayPal, you'll need to enter in some more details. You'll need to enter in a PayPal email, select if you have a Premier or business account, and you may choose to have PDT and IPN. So I'll now just scroll down and save those changes. So we've configured all the settings that we need to for this app theme. So now I'll show you how you can edit the featured images that will show on your blog and homepage. So we'll just need to go to pages and under pages you should see blog front page and blog post page. So I'll start with the blog front page, just click on that. 
Under here is where you can enter in information that you'd like to show up here. And the image that is behind this, you can edit on the side here under Featured Image. So I can remove my Featured Image and I can select a new one. So I'll just go with this one, Set Featured Image and Update. And if I come back to my site and I reload, you can see that this has changed the Featured Image. So if I go back to my pages, you can do the same for your blog. So blog post page, I can set my featured image. So I'll go with the puppy dog, set featured image and update. So now if I go down to my blog, you'll see that that image has showed up here. So I'll head back to admin dashboard and I'll show you how you can change the appearance of your website. So if you go to appearance, Customize, you'll be shown this sidebar where you'll see colors. If you click on colors, you can choose a color scheme that will change the appearance of your website. So right now I'm using B Modem with a black background, but I can change that to something else. So I'll go with green and I'll choose a different background. Um, so I'll just go with a white background, which you can see changes the whole appearance of my website. So I'll publish that. But just know there is other color schemes you can choose from. So we'll go back to the website again and we'll now create our first project. So projects, add new. Just note that we'll be creating this project as an admin, although if you've enabled membership registration, outside users such as an employer could come on and create a project that they're hoping a freelancer will be able to complete. So we'll give our project a title. So for this ad, I'm going to be looking for someone who's a graphics designer. Now that I've entered in a title, I can add a short description and I can also add in an image here. So I'll just add a short description for now. So I've added a short description. I can add any attachments um, such as similar graphics that I want achieved. But for now, I'll just leave this. And here's where I'll enter in the budget. So I can choose a fixed price, which I'll pay my freelancer, or I can choose to pay them per hour they work. So for this type of um, project, I'm gonna choose per hour. So I'll pay them in US dollars, and the budget price per hour that I'll pay them will be $30. Um, minimum hours needed. So for this job, I'm gonna just say six. So now if I scroll down further, I can enter in location preferences. So I'll go United States for this one. Um, so I'm looking for anyone within the United States to complete this work for me. And I can choose how to, long to post this project for. So I'll go with 30 days and that will tell me when it expires. So I can choose to feature this on the homepage, which I'll do. And I'll feature that one on the homepage for five days. You can also choose to feature on a category. So if I scroll down, I've completed everything. And I can simply publish that one out. We'll now see what that one looks like. So if I open link a new tab, you can see that my ad is shown up here. And it's also a featured project. I can go on and then I can edit this project as admin. So that brings us to the end of this tutorial on the Hirebee app theme. I hope it's helped you configure your general settings and given you a better understanding of this app theme. If you have any more questions or queries, feel free to contact us.